Hey, what's going on? My name's Robert, and you are watching Southpaw Auto Works. So we're working our way through a build series on the GM Turbo 400. The last video was dedicated to the assembly of the clutch drums. While there are two separate clutch drums, we did focus just on the direct clutch. That was done because a lot of the assembly techniques for stacking up the direct clutch, it's really just a matter of rinse and repeat for stacking up the forward clutch. So we didn't get into the forward clutch. However, hindsight, 2020. After we uploaded that video, we realized that we forgot a few key details regarding the forward clutch. So this super short video is all about that. So we want to show you just a little bit of difference on our forward clutch pack. When we did our assemblies for our pistons and lip seals and so forth, we did mention that those are the same. So we did not show the installation of the piston for the forward being the, like I said, once again, same as the direct. But there is a slight difference on assembly that I want to make sure and point out. We do have our set of clutches. Starts with a wave plate on the bottom, just like the direct clutch pack. And then we alternate frictions and steels until we end up with the friction on top. And then our pressure plate. Now our pressure plate looks a little different than the one for the direct because it has this hub on it. The other pressure plate was just that, no hub. And the biggest difference being is we have a hub that we have to install down in the clutch pack before we put our pressure plate on. So we get all of our frictions and steels installed down in the clutch pack, and then we've got to put a clutch hub in before we put our pressure plate on. And I want to make sure and point that out to you for the guys to give you all the details on this. Be aware, I mentioned it I believe before, but we've got two washers on this hub, one on the bottom, one on the top is going to go right here. We're using an aftermarket uh, washer. This is about a 90 thousandths where the factory washer was 60. Why are we doing that? Take up some of the end play in the unit. Okay, rather than stacking all of that extra thick washer on the pump and moving the forward drum away, which is this guy right here. If we put too much washer, we walk this drum away from those ceiling rings. So what we're gonna do is washer here, aftermarket washer here, put that in, stack the clutches in, and then we finish with this pressure plate, which like I said, looks a little bit different. It's got a hub on it and then snap ring on top, same as the direct as far as that goes. So this actually becomes your hub here for the direct drum. But those little differences we wanted to point out to you in the video, make sure we cover every little detail for you. Thank you for joining us on this super short video. If this type of content is adding value, please let us know by hitting that like button. It does help the channel and we do greatly appreciate your feedback. Up next in the video series, we're gonna be diving into bushings. More on that real soon. If you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell too so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Once again, my name's Robert and I will see you next time.